breaking news. Nigeria government declares Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoku, the sponsor of the ongoing and bad governance protest in Nigeria. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today is the 26th of August 2024 and I have very important information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. The Biafra Republic Government in Exile Prime Minister, His Excellency, Epa Simon Njoku, on the spotlight again. As members of the Federal Government of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, are currently alleging that he is the sponsor of the current and ongoing and bad governance in the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria this very man on your screen called adamu garoba a former presidential candidate in the zoo currently an apc agent working under the government of bola Ahmed Tinubu, the illegitimate president of the zoological republic has come out and opened his mouth, the stinking mouth of the Goro man, the Goro eater, and said that the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile is now the sponsor of the ongoing and bad governance protests in the zoo. Recall that a couple of weeks ago, before the commencement of this very so-called nationwide protest which is not happening in biafra land that has already proven that biafra land or the place they call south east south south are not part of their nationwide because when they call the protest nationwide protest and two regions are not among and they keep on calling it nationwide protest that has automatically proven that biafra land is not part of the nationwide of the zoo so, they alleged through the spokesperson of the illegitimate president that P2B was the one sponsoring or behind the clamor for nationwide protest. As if that was not enough, today it has become the Prime Minister Mazi Simonekba. So, table has turned. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with too much comment. Let us read in details from daily post to Nigeria and get the full gist so that we can be able to dissect them. And according to the title from daily post to Nigeria, they say Simon Ekba, Nigeria's enemy sponsoring protest, destruction, Adamu Garoba. You can see it is published today, August 6, 2024. A former All Progressive Congress APC presidential aspirant, Adamu Garoba, has said Nigeria enemies like self-acclaimed Biafra Prime Minister Simon Ekpa are behind the protest against President Bola Tinubu's administration. Hmm. Ya <laughs> The Biafra exodus has completely bacchanized the zoological republic. The Biafra exodus has completely dismembered the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria ya potoba ya potoba ya potoba garoba claimed that people like ekpa contracted some influencers to cause destruction in nigeria he alleged that they contracted some northern influencers to exploit the current economic hardship against the Nobu's administration so you are not even ashamed you are not worried to open your stinking mouth to admit that there is an economic hardship you are not even ashamed to admit it and you are in government <laughs> eh? that there is economic hardship 
Yet, people are protesting against the same economic hardship that is caused by the politicians and government. You are saying that it is someone who is busy fighting for the freedom of his people. The one sponsoring the protest against the economic hardship that you have acknowledged the existence. Maybe you do be that. When we tell you that these people don't have brain, you think we are joking. <laughs> you can see it is now staring at the faces of everybody that they lack brain. Posting on X, Garba Road, the real sponsors of these rioters slash not genuine protesters as one Nigeria enemies. Someone like at Simon Epa, who's taking sanctuary in a foreign land, yet ordering and commanding the destruction of his fatherland. God forbid, Nigeria can never be the fatherland of Mazi Simon Epa. Nigeria can never be our fatherland. It has never happened before, not yesterday, not today, and it will never be in future. The zoo can never be our fatherland. We are fighting for our fatherland and our motherland, which is Biafra. And if anything, any presence of the zoo in Biafra land, any infrastructure, any institution of the zoo representing the zoo in Biafra land, which we only have the military barracks and police barracks, including the, you know, the, the prison yards. This is the only zoo present, the only federal government presence in our land as it stands today are the army barracks, police barracks, and prison yards. That's all. Which other infrastructure do we have that is not built by either individuals or state governments? When I say state government, I'm talking about during the colonial masters and uh, few you know decades ago in recent time somebody or people like Sam Bakwe. these are the people i'm talking about not these current idiots that are occupying states various state capitals in biafra land old states under the zoo that parade themselves as governors they are irrelevant they have never built anything in our land so any infrastructure, not infrastructure, any institution, because there is no infrastructure here representing the zoo, any institution representing the zoo in our land and is being destroyed or may be destroyed tomorrow, so be it. We are going to build our land. In fact, even the ones that will not be destroyed, we, are going, we will still take all of them down. We are going to take all of them down and build our land build our cities, build our homes with the modern day technology in order to serve mankind, in order to enjoy and live a better life. Once Biafra is restored, as soon as possible, very, very soon, mark my word. Now he continued, there is no greater illegitimacy in birth and in roots than this. When I told you the North was deceived, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Mumu man. These guys contracted some northern influencers to assist them in exploiting the current economic hardship against the Tinubu administration. Shame. Coupled with the fact that some angry and envious politicians see this as an opportunity to exact revenge upon the government for their loss. Oh, so now he tried to bring in people like P2B and Co. in order to make the other Yoruba man relevant. In order to continue to make the statement of that Yoruba man, the so-called Tinubu spokesperson, to continue to make his statement relevant so that he is not completely discarded because they are all serving on that APC. <laughs> you understand? We understand them properly. He said, Nigeria needs to review our relationship with Finland if they refuse to package and send this Epa guy to Nigerian authorities for questioning. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Finland does not feed from this zoo. Finland never fed from the zoo you have oil they don't need oil from you they have oil finland norway most of these scandinavia countries have crude in their land unlike western part of europe like uh, uh, germany or even britain 
you know they have oil because they were former ussr russia so they have oil are you paying attention so what do they get from you absolutely nothing they get nothing from you so you can cut off the relationship with so-called relationship. by the way what is finland doing with nigeria as a you know partner i don't understand what are they doing with a terrorist country like the zoo as partners they must cut off that so-called relationship immediately and move on so that when they are supporting us after our declaration they will come out in full force with full chest without fear of unknown they will come out and stand with the bomb yes we are in support of yafa mad people everywhere from the zoo i don't want to talk too much because i should be coming live this very evening thank you my people i make it go viral